This, my friends, is the ultimate marginal gain for that aspiring bike YouTuber. It's probably the fastest stem bag I've ever used. You can open it up one-handed, grab your camera, shoot that sweet, sweet B-roll for that extra retention time so you can make that extra penny per video, put it back in the bag, and then slap it closed. This is the slap bag, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. Welcome back, Pathless Peddlers, and if you're new to the channel, if you're into the non-competitive side of cycling, riding party pace, you have found your people, hit that subscribe button. I've been doing less and less bag reviews on the channel because I think most bags are kind of iterations on a theme and few really come out with anything kind of new. The slap bag was suggested to me uh, by a viewer to check out. So I think Bill, I think that's who suggested it. And at first I was like, eh, do I need to review another stem bag? But after using it for several weeks, I'm actually kind of impressed. There are a couple major things that I would change personally, but as it is, it's a pretty cool product. With all the stem bags out there, this bag's main value proposition is that you can open it one-handed. There's no Velcro, there's no tab. It uses a friction system. I don't know if you remember those slap bracelets uh, back in grade school, but that's essentially what this is. And there's a tough metal bar in here that deforms to open and snaps back closed. I personally have been looking for a bag just like this, mostly for filming. So these days when I'm doing a ride video, I tend to film with an action camera. And most action cameras are just a little bit too big uh, to be able to pull in and out of your regular stem bag because they are cylindrical. They're made around the shape and dimensions of the bottle. This is just a little chunky and awkward to pull in and out very quickly. The slap bag, however, isn't conforming to a water bottle. Um, it's kind of just a, a big rectangular envelope and it's a perfect application for something like this. This external material is X-Pack. Looking inside, it is just one big compartment. There is this kind of stretchy cordage. Um, uh, I guess you would clip your wallet or your keys to this. It's maybe some kind of lanyard. To attach the bag to your bike, you have these four narrow industrial uh, Velcro strap. Two would go around your handlebar and the other two would go around your stem. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Slap Bag is a US-based company and they are made, uh, I believe in Spokane, Washington or somewhere in Washington. I've been using this bag on a ton of mixed terrain rides. I've even taken it on some single track and it's performed pretty awesome. I know that these Velcro straps are kind of thin. When you first look at them, they don't inspire much confidence but so far I haven't had any problem with them. Some of you are gonna wonder if it's waterproof. It is not waterproof, it is water resistant. So if you, if you wanna put something in here that must stay dry, just double bag it. This material is water resistant, but if you go swimming with it, you know, there's still a gap, things are gonna get wet. Another thing you guys are probably wondering is if it has drain holes, it does not have drain holes. So if you do manage to get water in here, it will pool. In all my rides so far, the bag has not opened accidentally. It actually takes, you know, some force to, to pop open. You'd, you'd have to be doing a massive jump and the stem would really have to knock the bag to pop this open. I think in most riding circumstances, if you're riding road in particular or gravel, you, you really don't have to worry about this popping open. The bag is a perfect size for snacks, maybe a small jacket. I think it's excellent for an action cam if you shoot with an action cam. So something like the GoPro Hero 10 or the Insta360 ONE R. I did try packing a camera with a selfie stick popping out of the top. And if you have anything that goes above the closure, it's not gonna stay closed. So unfortunately it doesn't work in that circumstance. For it to be the most secure, it definitely has to be fully closed with nothing protruding from the top here. Here's a little real-time clip of how I would use it. So I'm gonna show you how quick it is to get in and out of the slap bag. So this is how I would use it. Filming, saying profound things. Had to quickly put it away. And then pull it back out. So pretty effortless. So yeah, it works pretty well. It's It's been really secure, hasn't opened accidentally, hasn't jumped off my bike. And those are all the things I like, but there are some things that I would probably change personally. The first thing is the Velcro. While I haven't had any problems with them, I do sort of wish they were just slotted and you could use a Vole strap. That to me just feels more secure. I wish there was a combination of Vole strap here and then some kind of cordage loop to attach to the stem. If you have a really stubby stem, these get really tricky to wrap around it. And sometimes you may only be able to end up using one 
Velcro strap. So I think the attachment to the bike could be upgraded. Also, as you can tell, this bag is not padded. So uh, I would not put your Leica in here or a Micro Four Thirds Compact. It would fit, but it's gonna be bouncing around if you're riding on rough terrain and smacking against your head tube. I'm okay with putting an action camera in here because they just tend to be a little bit more robust. But if you have a fancier camera, this is, I wouldn't do that. Another thing is, although it's attached to your handlebar and your stem, the bottom part can swing freely. It would have been nice, again, if there was a loop down here with some cordage so you could secure it to your head tube or your fork crown. So basically, the attachment points feel very basic, but those are, those are just my personal opinions. In actual use and practice, these things may not bother you, but I review a ton of bags and I've seen some pretty cool additions lately that have been moving away from Velcro. I do think, however, that this slap bracelet closure here is friggin' genius. I also love that it's not a bottle shape because yes, many people initially use them for water bottles. It's such a great place for other uses. So, so I do like bags that play with the shape of the stem bag. The bag costs, I think, $32. There is a link in the description below. Yes, it's an affiliate link. It can help add to those pennies that I'm getting in AdSense if you, if you buy from that link. And while it's not super cheap, you know, it's not like $5, it is less expensive than many stem bags out there on the market. So if you're looking for a US made stem bag that prioritizes super quick entry and closure, and you just like the whole slap, slapping thing, then yeah, check out the slap bag, link in description below. And if you like this content guides, you know, I focus on the non racing end of cycling, very lonely space, by the way, we don't have massive corporate sponsorship. Consider helping out the channel by joining us on Patreon or buying a sticker patch or print. And as always, keep the supple side down.